Yeah. Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to this um, new program. Actually, this program, I, I took my time to document this course. And uh, I want to build a foundation for a lot of people coming into IT. I prepare this to be a stepping stone into an IT career. Uh, during my business analysis project management uh, program, I find out that there's a lot, a lot of people are interested. They, are, they, they want to do it. They, they want to come into this career, but they are struggling because business analysis and project management is a bit is a bit technical as somebody who is starting in um, career in IT. So it's a bit uh, complex for them. So, and that's why I've developed this program so that a new person, if you are just coming in, you can just start from here and they start building on your IT career. So this course is designed for anybody with minimum requirement to get started with this is as long as you can um, use computer very well, the minimum requirement is at least O level. So this is, is meant to get as many people as possible onboarded into IT career. And is going to help a lot of um, people that want to work from home because it's purely, the, the, the role is purely for working from home. It's not a, an office-based job and it's going to be very good for nursing mothers who want to work from home look after their kids and then be making money for the family as well and there is high demand for this particular uh, role virtual assistant there is high demand for it so if you if you have this skill this um skill set i'm sure you are going to get a job a good job for a start in your it so let's get started and look at the component what um the table of contents of this particular uh, course first is um general introduction then we'll look at um, introduction to visual administrative assistant we we'll look at how much the virtual assistant makes then we'll look at the rules and responsibilities of a virtual assistant we we'll look at the skills required of a virtual assistant then we we'll look at the tools of virtual assistant and then how do you find a virtual assistant job so it's well packaged and it's packaged in such a way this is going to be a two months program it's packaged in such a way that um with uh, the training can take us one month and then you go on a um, one month work placement with us where you will work as a virtual assistant to get the real life experience the real life experience that when you are applying for jobs or going for interview you already have an experience you know what you are going to be doing and even if they would demand yeah yeah recruit the recruiter or your employer requires a reference we can give you that reference so we package in such a way that there is no um we left no stone unturned anything that will make you to get a job after 
this training after this program, we took everything into consideration. So <clears throat> we are going to be working all the all the people within us here, even after this training, because from here we are going to proceed to work as so we are going to be working as a team. So we need to know ourselves very well by properly introducing ourselves. I already know. I already know you guys, you know, so I'm not going to, but I don't know if you guys know yourselves. So that's the, 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 the introduction part of it. Like, um, well, there's a lot of folks that are supposed to join, which I know so many will come back to start begging. <coughs> <clears throat> they didn't join because of one reason or the other. But they can go and watch this video. So that is, um, can see more people are still joining. So um, the introduction, like I said, I know most of you, but like most of you might not know yourself, but I want everybody here to get to know, get to know yourself very well because we'll be working as a team when you'll be uh, doing your work experience. So, um, Emanuela, I know you are my very good friend, and uh, Juliet. Yes, sir. Yeah, Juliet is your sister, my good friend as well. And Miss um, Oma is my very good friend and my my sister as well. But Buzz, I don't know who is logging in as Buzz here. So Buzz, can you um, tell us whom you are so we we'll know you? Hello, can you hear me? I can't, you are sounding a bit far from the... Uh, because I'm sitting on earpiece. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, okay. we can hear you. Okay. okay, boss, my name is Oninyechi Obi. Okay, Oninyechi, I know you, you are the boss. I'm the boss. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. We have um, infinite smart six. So please, when you are signing in, I want you to try to use your name to sign in so that I will know the people I'm working with. Or if you are not using, um, if you don't want to, to to write your name, then you need to put your camera on. So we know, we want to know whom you are dealing with. <clears throat> so who is um, Infinite Smart Six? Who is using in, in, Infinite Smart Six? Hello. I say, who is using Infinite Masses? Introduce yourself. Okay. Um, because this is a learning process. Virtual assistant, let me, let me use this. A virtual assistant, uh, if you are working as a virtual assistant, everything you are going to be doing is going to be online based. So if you cannot communicate very well within the, 
the training, this training or this um, workshop, then it's going to be difficult for you because communication is very key in this particular um, career. But I don't want that to take my time. So um, I'll move. I can cover something for today. So the next thing we are going to do is to understand this um, career path called um, <clears throat> virtual assistant or virtual administrative assistant, which is, uh, is very trending, a very trending profession these days. So we want to understand the academic requirements and the required experience for this particular role. Virtual assistant is a professional that perform administrative, uh, please put yourself on hold, mute, mute your system so that we can... Virtual admin. This infinite uh, smart system, I'm going to put you out of this class. I'm going to throw you away. You can't even uh, introduce yourself and you keep disturbing my class. What's your problem? A virtual administrative um, assistant is a professional that performs administrative tasks for an organization or client from a remote location, usually from a home. The task can range from managing email accounts, scheduling calls, managing calendars, and making travel arrangements, among other things. There are so many things you can do as a virtual assistant. And from my understanding, a lot of people are doing this job do not really understand the scope of this job. They are thinking that it's just um, managing email, account scheduling calls, and calendar, that is virtual. There is a lot of role within this um, virtual, there's a lot you can do if you understand this, uh, this, uh, um, this course very well or this uh, role very, very well. You know, there is a lot you can achieve as a virtual assistant. The beauty of this role is that when somebody is hiring you, the person knows that you are going to be working remotely. You don't go to, as a virtual assistant, you don't go to work. So when somebody hires you as a virtual assistant, then you know you are going to be working from the comfort of your zone, from your home. All you need is a good internet connectivity and a computer and a quiet place to, to, to concentrate and do your job. That's what you need to do this job. And I wonder how people are complaining there is no job, there is no job. There is, if you go to Upwork and uh, search, you see there is a lot of virtual administrative assistant job there. The virtual part means 
all of your activity can be completed online, allowing you to work from anywhere with a good internet connection. So that is all you can do. So virtual assistant is our traditional administrative assistant where you go to offices and do your job, normal job as an admin assistant. This time around, we are no longer going to, um, to offices to do this job. You then have to do your job from home. So that is the virtual assistant. It's very, very trending. There's a lot of jobs for it these days. Uh, before we proceed, I want us to look at something and see um, Is your are you the person that will be disturbing my class? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, let me show you something. Okay. Now I just typed virtual assistant. And this is jobs already. So this is jobs available for now. So if you are a virtual assistant, this is these are jobs for Grab, a virtual assistant for estate agency. You see what they are paying? Eight dollars to twelve. Uh, eight eight dollars to twelve dollars an hour. Then. Virtual assistant, these people, their budget for this is a fixed price, but the budget is $700 um, dollars, and this is just posted 36 minutes ago. Okay, this is a virtual assistant as well. What you do is a spelling checker, you check spelling, but proofreading. That's what this particular one does. They didn't put the hourly pay here. This is um, data entry. This is still virtual assistant. Is um, budget is ten dollars. Instagram engagement, fifteen minutes per day, ten to $30 an hour. So there are so many of them here. This is a um, virtual assistant for an online medical startup, 12 to $18. This is virtual assistant working from home um, 
packaging suite to be sent to Amazon, 15 to 20. Telemarketing is still a virtual assistant, 20 to 35. Digital marketing is still the virtual assistant, 25 to 55. So there is so many of them here. So what we, we don't have is the exposure to explore this market. And all these jobs we are seeing here, they are meant for Africans. Because for instance, you see this job here, it's dollars an hour. Here in UK, minimum wage is above this. I think minimum wage in UK now is um, $12. Any job we are doing in UK, the minimum wage is 12, I think it's $10. 10 let me say $10 minimum wage. No matter the job, you, you, it must be more than 10, 10 pounds, I mean. So meaning that they are not advertising this job for somebody who is living in UK because this is below the market price in UK. So they are, these are small, small companies, startups, trying to look for, for cheap labor. They are trying to save costs. So they are doing this and their target is people living in Africa. So these jobs are meant for people living, our people living in Africa to explore the market. So that's why you have to build your skill and take advantage and make this money. And you know that this money, it, can, it might be nothing here, but if you be earning this amount of money per hour in a day, you know how much you've earned. And if you convert the, the, the dollar to Naira, you know, you are making a lot of money. You are better than all these uh, even bank managers, you know, and you are working from your home. You are looking after your children. When it's time you go for your school and pick your children, and you are still doing your job. Some people might not really know what you are doing, but you are making more money than even a lot of people going out to hustle because you have these skills. So this is just a kind of an eye-opener tip so that you can see what is obtainable in the market. There are so many other websites like a Fiverr, freelancer, where there is a lot of jobs. It's not only in Upwork, there's a lot. So let's go back to our slide. <clears throat> so we've understand what virtual assistant mean and we've seen the market there is always there is job always for virtual assistant. So if you are finishing this training today, if you know what you are doing, you can even be applying tomorrow and even starting work next tomorrow. Working from your home. You know, it's like so many smart students in Nigeria, since um, the ASUS have been on strike and if you have developed yourself very well, even before they start school, You've, you've made a lot of money, you know? And you can even be taking good care of yourself while in school. So these are the importance of this kind of skills for everybody. So let's crack on. Virtual assistant educational requirements. Becoming a virtual assistant does not require any specific educational credential. Although most virtual assistants have completed secondary school, some clients prefer virtual assistants who have completed courses in computer and business management. But the actual truth is that there is no um, educational this, uh, qualification. There is no certification. Like in uh, project management, they will have a lot of certification these days, like uh, uh, Prince Two certification. We have um, Six Sigma. We have um, 
uh, agile, agile certification like project um, Scrum Master and the rest of them. But this, this is a fresh profession. This is a new role. It, is, it, it just came out. There is no body governing, there's no governing body governing this. So it's, it's a new environment for, for you to come in and explore. So you, you, nobody would then ask you that you have um, a certification in individual asset. There is no certification for this particular program at this moment. But I know there is a lot of people are working hard to make this, um, this particular profession become a really reputable body managing it. But for now, there is no certification. All you need is to understand it and know all the skills and have graphs on all the technologies and tools you need to do this job very well. Required experience. Virtual assistant role is closely related to that of a conventional office assistant. The main difference is that virtual assistants perform their duties remotely. People who work in this role often possess several years of experience as office managers or administrator. So this particular job, the main difference is that you are working online. Most of the activities you are doing is online. So it's just like a normal conventional office um, admin or office assistant or clerical assistant where you carry file you do a lot of things you answer call you you manage you know, the um, offices like um, ceo office um, so it's just a basic administrative rule but this difference is that this one you do everything online you manage files online. You manage um, uh, emails online. Unlike uh, the like in a conventional uh, admin office, you manage the email that comes into the uh, a mail. Maybe go to post office. You collect mail. You sort the mail out. Um, you open the mail. At times you read the mail uh, on behalf of your boss and. You draw the attention of your boss to the mail that are more urgent. And these are so virtual assistant. Instead of going to the post office, you re, you manage the the email on behalf of your client. So you take calls, you manage meetings. Like when I was working in the local government, I've got uh, someone who manages the office of the chairman, the person schedule call, the person manages meeting, the person remind the chairman that at so so time you have a meeting, the person. So it's the same thing. The only thing difference here is that you do your own online. For instance, if I have a virtual assistant working with me and I'm having this class, it is the duty of the virtual assistant to schedule this uh, Zoom meeting, arrange this Zoom meeting, the virtual assistant will remind me that by nine o'clock I have a class. And the virtual assistant at times will be part of this class to be managing my activities within this class so that I will concentrate in delivering my workshop and uh, my meeting, making sure my meeting. So it's the duty of virtual assistant after the, maybe this meeting, the virtual assistant will record this meeting the video of this meeting, because I might be very busy that after this meeting, I might jump into another meeting. So it's the duty of virtual assistants to make sure that this meeting is recorded, save this meeting, respond to some of the email relating to this meeting, and uh, send if there's anyone that need recorded version of this meeting or transcripted version of this meeting. It's the duty of virtual assistant to transcribe this meeting and then send this meeting to all the relevant uh, people 
if it's a project that is going on, it's the duty of our virtual assistant to make sure that this video is uploaded to docs and file where this um, meeting um, is, being is being stored. So these are basically duty of a virtual assistant. You do all this online. I like teaching with illustration so that you understand how these things work. I will show you <clears throat> docs, uh, some of the projects I'm working on and how a virtual assistant can come in there to perform some work as in a project. So virtual assistant can work in a project. So let me see. Um, I'll take us to um, this. Uh, so this is um various projects i'm managing and it's very difficult for me navigating from this particular project back to this particular project back to this particular project so if this becomes too much for me, I might need a virtual assistant to help me with my, because before this meeting, there is, um, I had another meeting, I had a class, a workshop before this meeting. And after that workshop, um, I was trying to upload the transcript, the, the video to the, like this particular project. After this, uh, I had a workshop and after the work, I supposed to save my work on this uh, docs and file. This is what we call, um, let me start, let me explain this very well, because all these things you need to know all these things as a virtual assistant. This is what we call base camp. Base camp is where we use what we use to manage is a workspace. It's an online workspace. It's just the opposite of a conventional office. So this is online work space. And here in this project we are managing, these are people are working with me. This is a message board where you create messages and post messages and announcements. This is Campfire where we collaborate. In Campfire here, people collaborate, people chat, exchange messages with just like um, a WhatsApp group within this base camp. And uh, this is um, a notice board. All these are notices. So, this is the meeting I finished before this one. This, this is where we put the, mo the notice. So now this is our to do. This is activities we are performing on this project. And this, the shadow where this is my calendar. So if you are working as a virtual assistant with me, <coughs> it's going to be a duty to manage my calendar. You are going to be scheduling meeting on my behalf within this calendar. You know what is coming on next. You need to remind me like, you know, this is the meeting I've, I've had. So July 4th, like some of this meeting, if I, there is a meeting coming up, you need to remind me about this meeting. 
this is where you can schedule a meeting on my behalf as a virtual as I manage my calendar, make sure that I, I miss, I'm not missing any meeting. So this is going to be a duty as a virtual assistant. So that's how a virtual assistant can work in a project. And after this meeting, you come here in docs and file. If you come to conventional office or normal office we use in our, in our place, we see shelves where we put office uh, folders and the rest of them. So this is folders. These are different folders. This is a folder, this is a folder, this is a folder. These are different folders. And you want to create a new folder, you come here, you create a new folder. So you can create a folder and manage some of our activities. Like this is um, where we, we upload the videos, our videos, recorded videos. So it's going to be the, the duty of virtual assistant that after meeting, you come here and upload the video for the project team to make use of. This can be your job as a virtual assistant. You manage all the videos, then not only video, after every task, you can upload the documents here. Make sure that the document is uploaded. If there is any template we need, this is a project template. You make sure that every template is here for the project team to use. And if, they, if there is anything the project team are looking for, you provide it for the project. So you can be, as a virtual assistant, you can be a project support officer within a project management. So you can see, which is very easy, managing document, managing file within a project, arranging things, putting things in order, organizing things. You know, this is your job as a virtual assistant. I'm just giving you an illustration how a virtual assistant can work in a project, in a project setting, in a project management as a, as a project support officer. And this has a lot of money. So let's go back to our training slide. So this is um, the difference between virtual assistant um, and administrative and uh, the administrative officer that's working um, conventionally in the office. When I mean conventionally, I mean you go every day, you plan, you, you prepare, you go to work in, in the office, you work in the office and you go home. And virtual means you work from home. Everything you do, all your activity is online. It's online based. That is the difference. It's no, it's not virtual assistant. It's not just managing email and calendar. There's a lot you can do as a virtual assistant. But we are coming to the rules, um, the responsibilities of a virtual assistant, so that you understand what I'm saying very well. So how much do virtual assistant make? We've gone through the upwork and we've seen that at least uh, from five to five dollars an hour. That's what a virtual assistant can make as uh, a customer service, email handling, WordPress management and more. So that's what you can make. So you've seen that, so I don't need to talk more about this because you see, I, I, we've gone to Upwork to see it ourselves. You can go there and do more research about this. So now rules and responsibilities of a virtual assistant. A virtual assistant can work in a variety of industries their duties can vary depending on the sector. Virtual assistant can be called, called on to do all kind of duties for, the, for their clients. Sometimes you will perform a few tasks, a few specific tasks. In other cases, you might play a vital role in primary business function and feel like part of the team. 
being a virtual assistant allow you to be flexible and experience many different kinds of environment. The most common responsibilities within the different sectors uh, is what we are going to be looking very soon. So there's a lot of responsibilities um, within different sectors. So like what we, we've seen here, there's a lot of duties in the, uh, you can do, but what you do with the, the determine where we are working. For instance, if you are working with a project, within a project environment, these are the, the things you can do. You can work there as a project um, support officer where you'll be doing, um, all you need is just to understand softwares or like Basecamp very well. And it's not very difficult. I've been training so many of you on Basecamp. You'll be using Basecamp. So it's not very difficult. Not only Basecamp, we have um, Asana, we have um, um, Monday.com, we have um, Office 365. But if you know how to, to use Basecamp very well, you know how to use all of them because they are similar. And even um, in DigiBreed, some of you that are working with me in DigiBreed, in DigiBreed is the same thing. A DigiBreed is a, a, is a, a custom made product. I customly made that product for myself, but it's, it, it serves the same purpose um, with a base camp. So what DigiBreed, our workspace in DigiBreed offers is the same thing uh, base camp offer. But the, the only thing is that DigiBreed offer more functionalities. You know, it offers more functionalities than uh, Basecamp. So if you can work in DigiBrid, then you can work as a virtual assistant within project environment, within so many other sectors, because so many sectors, this work environment is what they use. That is what everybody is using to do their job. So if you know how to use all these source softwares, you've acquired a lot of skills for yourself. If you got a job now in a shell um, or, or Facebook or Google, and you are working from Nigeria or remotely, even if you're in UK, after all of us here in UK, we are working remotely. What you are going to see is something like Basecamp, or office, um, Microsoft Office, or Asana, or something like DigiBrid. There is no difference. So don't get intimidated that uh, somebody is working in um, in Google, or somebody is working uh, with Facebook, or somebody is working with. Don't be intimidated. It's the same thing I'm teaching you people. These are what you are going to be seeing. Just like. Um, uh, yesterday, one of my students secured a job in British Petroleum. During our workshop, he's still in our workshop. It's the same thing we are doing. Uh, most of the application we are, I've taught them we are using, that's what they are doing there. There's nothing different. You know, but when you are hearing all these big, big names, you will not believe that is what we are teaching you people is what we are going to face. So let's crack on. These are the most common responsibilities within um, so many sectors. Now, if you are working within e-commerce, website management as a virtual assistant, these are the things you are going to be doing as a virtual assistant. As a virtual assistant, you'll be maintaining a website, including bug fixing, updating web pages, and redesigning the, the site. These are very simple processes. It doesn't mean that you are going to be a developer, but the issue is that when you find out there is, there is an issue, the website or a web page is not working well the way it's supposed to be, then you report it to the developers to fix it. 
And when they say redesigning, if the website is no longer looking good, you complain. You, you get the attention of the developers to fix it. So this could um, be your job. Then processing orders and managing processing orders and managing shipping invoices. You know, managing product return and the exchange, drafting and submitting the company's press release, providing customer service and answering question, maintaining inventories, inventory record and ordering new item. So these are the things, kind of activities you are, you are going to perform as a virtual assistant in an e-commerce website. So if you, are, if, you are, if you got a job in Amazon or eBay as a virtual assistant, these are the kind of things you are going to be doing. Or if you got a job in Catroid as a virtual assistant, these are the things we are going to be doing. Let us do it a bit practical. Let's go to Catroid and you will see all this. Okay. This is an e-commerce website. So as a virtual assistant, um, if somebody places an order, this is, if somebody places this order, somebody buys this particular product, this product is going to be reflecting at the, at the back office. And within the back end, you as a virtual assistant, you have um, an account. You can log in to see this order. And as a virtual assistant, you take this order, you process this order, and um, you key in this order for, for shipment. And then from there, the order will then move for delivery. So as a virtual assistant, you can monitor this order and uh, uh, make sure that this order, order is being delivered. And then you wait, you wait for customers to see if the customer will have any query or complaint, then you take the complaint. All these things, you can do these things online. Okay. For instance, um, this is a return policy here. We see return policy. If there is a return policy, the situation from, other, because you can see this company, they have a return policy so that if a customer actually makes a return, the customer will write to the company that he is not happy and his return. So you, from the back end, you take this complaint and process it and then move, process it for, for a phone, make sure that the, 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 the product is being returned. And then you process the payment for this particular customer and take it back and make sure that the customer gives the payment back. You can do all these things very easily. When we were doing a training for this um, Catroid, Ms. Omar participated in this Catroid. So Ms. Omar um, have an account within this Catroid. So Ms. Omar can um, actually um, push the product from the back end 
if the if the like this particular product is out of sale, you know this is a picture, and we can be selling this product and find out that this product we finish selling this product. So what we do is that we hide this, we don't delete it, we deactivate this particular product from the back end and it will not appear again. These are the duties of what virtual assistant can do. It, it, these are very, very easy processes. They are very simple. They are not difficult. So these are some of the things you can do. So if a company like this employ you as a virtual assistant, they will give you a brief training on how we are going to do this and you start doing it. And it's not difficult. You can do this from the comfort of your zone. So this is how managing all this order, refund, answering a call. If you are if you are in a customer support, like you can see this help uh, line. If you are a virtual assistant with this company as a customer support, they will give you a phone number. They will give you a, a phone which you'll be using. And this might be the number of, so when customer call this number, a customer is having problem with any of our service here. And customer call this, you take this call and they talk to the customer and resolve the issue. For instance, if the customer is trying to make payment and is not going, then you can take the order. If it is something you can solve, you solve the problem immediately. If it is not something you can solve, then you take the, um, the complaint, write it down, and then take it to the person that can solve the problem. And when the problem is resolved, you go back to the customer um, to tell the customer that it has been resolved. These are what you can do as a virtual assistant within an e-commerce company. So don't think that virtual assistant is only uh, managing email and the calendar. It is the, the impression I want to clear. So there's a lot you can do as a virtual assistant. I've shown you as a virtual assistant, how you can work within a project, a project team. So managing calendar is just one of the many rules you can do as a virtual assistant. So, so this is um, um, e-commerce management. So this is where the the customer can make can place order. This is a, you can place order from your laptop, this desktop, or you can place order from your phone. So when you place order, the order will be here. You are the, this is the virtual assistant. You can be working from one. You take this order, it can be processed, and then you package for delivery, and it off it it goes. So you can work within this team to manage both processing and delivery. So you can actually uh, specialize in customer, uh, um, a form of customer support within this process. When customer trying to order something, the customer can have a, a challenge and they will call you and you resolve the challenge. understand customer's order. So you need to understand all the customer's order. Then you need to track number of customers and then restock product when the, 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 the stock is down. So these are the things you can be doing within e-commerce. So, uh, which is very simple. We have an e-commerce uh, application. Uh, so it's not easy. It's not, I mean, it's not difficult operation working um, as a virtual assistant within e-commerce. Another one is general office administration. And these are the ones most of us are doing. And these are the ones most of you think that is the 
the main virtual assistant job. No. They are, this is just one of them. What do they do? They manage a calendar and schedule. Scheduling calls and imputing contact information, performing data entry and uh, organizing files, ordering and restocking office supplies, maintaining the accounts and dues, overseeing travel, including making travel arrangements and uh, schedules. So, these are what a virtual assistant does within the uh, office as an office administration administrator. So looking at this um, picture, you can see it's just managing office, um, office activities. This is exactly what you can do within this um this is what you can do within this within, the, within this project so you can be managing documents here it's like i said there are so many companies this is their workspace so as, a, as an office um, administrator, administrative assistant, you can be managing doc, doc and file, I mean documents and files, creating folders, you know? So I can say, um, I want to create a new folder here. We need a, something as an, office, as an admin assistant. I can say, okay, let me create a new folder, which we need here. I'll make a new folder. And I'll give it a name. Let me say um, customer support. So I've created a new folder here. So which I'll be using as an office, um, as an, uh, a virtual assistant, I can be managing everything pertaining customers of pro shop here. You know, every queries, I document it, everything, every so I can create as many folders. We have been storing a lot of documents here. So this is what you can do as an office, uh, as a virtual assistant. The project manager might not have time to, to be managing. There's a lot of documents here. You can see here, there's a lot of documents. And as this project is progressing, there's so many documents coming on. And when some project managers, they are managing like four projects at a time. Look at me, for instance. Some of you who knows me very well knows the amount of project I'm managing at this particular time. And when you are managing all these projects, you at times you might not know where you kept one document. So you need an administrative assistant to help you to be sorting out all these documents. This is what you do within an office as an admin assistant. So you can be managing um, calendars here. You can manage my calendar here. So it's not only Google Calendar that you can, so, so, but it's good to use uh, Google Calendar because this is the one so many of you know. But so many of these applications, they have their own input calendars where you can manage calendars. If I, if you, want, you can schedule a meeting for me here. You can manage my ac activity. If I'm the project manager here and my, you are my uh, admin, um, virtual assistant, is your duty to be managing this calendar, scheduling meeting. You ask me, you work with me, you know what I do. It's just like a PA. That's what you'll be doing for your client, managing all their activities within this workspace. And you can equally put a message here 
you can come here on my behalf and put a message for the for the group you can put any message here announcement you can say announcement here you know put announcement and type it and post it on my behalf so these are the, the series of things you can do as because i don't have any any uh, um any support officer, anybody supporting me in all this, my, I do a lot of things and it gets so tiring. So when some of you are going to be doing their, their work experience, some of you are going to be helping me in managing all this, my, 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 my workspace, all this, my docs and file, all this, my calendar, everything here, some of you will be helping me in doing all this. So you can see here, we have three, three different projects going on here. You see these people, they have their own, but this thing I'm managing as well. A lot going on here, a lot of projects going on here. Not only this, and let me show another one. Another, this thing here, so you can see this one again. Um, this is another project going on here. This is another project going on here, big project going on here. Only me managing all these things. So you can see one project manager or program manager can be managing a lot of projects. You know, these are the ones I'm managing here in UK. When you go to DigiBrick, there's almost five or uh, six projects going on there. So when you become a virtual assistant, you can help your, your clients your, to manage all these things. These are one of the things you can do, managing the activities here, scheduling this thing. You might, you might not know what is, um, have the skills to work as a project manager or as a, but you know how to arrange files so that things will be organized, so that I know what I'm doing. You like any pro, any, any document that uh, relates to initiate stage, you make sure that we put it here. Any document, any video or conference or workshop you have, you make sure that is uh, documented. You make sure that all the, the project uh, template, the project team will be needing, they are intact. They are not, uh, there is none of them that they are lacking. And this is what you can be doing from the comfort of your home and making your money. <clears throat> so let's crack on. So now is blogging as a virtual assistant. You can be helping your company with articles and blogging, overseeing blog production, proofreading and editing, managing social media platform to extend client reach, researching the most active time of blog audience and scheduling posts, regulating and replying to blog posts, uh, uh, replying to blog comments, creating graphics, graphic content for social media and increasing blogs. So as a virtual assistant, you can do this. And let's look at it practical again. Let's go back to our friend, Catroy. So you can see here, we all know that blog is a way of advertising your brand so much. So every company that knows what they are doing must have a blog 
section within their company. So it's kind of uh, where they create awareness, write news, publication about the companies, write promotional articles. And as a virtual assistant, these are what you can be doing. Like you see this cap right now, let's look at their blog session. So you can see because we only, we don't have a virtual assistant and we don't have uh, much people doing it. So we only have one blog post here, but actually we should be publishing at least at least one blog in a day or later at least five blogs yeah at least five blogs in a week or at least two in a week and updating it because when you write when you write blog all this blog will be integrated to all your social media so that whenever you publish blog from here it will trigger to facebook it will trigger to twitter it will trigger to to Instagram. And who does all these things? Managing them, looking at the comments, the customers, some of them will be making comments, asking questions, and doing somebody needs to be responding to that. And who does that? Virtual assistant. This is this blog here. So we just um uh, we're not doing much. So if, if we have a virtual assistant that's helping us, we should be able to have a lot of um, articles going on here. And this will be driving our business, promoting our business. So um, let's look at... Um, Look at uh, techno.com. So here, let's um, look at our because every company they've got their blog this is where they do their this thing now this is our blog session here you know these are so many blogs we have here so how to become a virtual assistant i won't read mostly so so there's not much here but actually if you have a virtual assistant, the virtual assistant should help us to be managing this blog and driving this um, our business, writing a lot of articles, promotional articles. These are what companies are looking for. Content writers, even if you don't know how to write, you should be able to manage the ones written. Like as a virtual assistant, after writing this thing, somebody need to uh, proofread this um, article to make sure there is no error before publishing it. And then making sure that this article is being published in all our social media accounts. And then you monitor these articles within social media to make sure that it's reaching to the right people. But we don't have anybody helping us doing that. These are jobs of virtual assistant. They are always looking for this kind of um, people. Um, look, there are so many of these kind of uh, rules that they are looking for people to do, to, to perform these jobs. But there's no, if you don't have the skills, if you don't have the awareness, you might not know. So these are some of the jobs you can do they are not difficult. So you can do it. So
so website management like blog blog post is quite different from website management you can be managing blog alone but generally managing websites is still the duty of a virtual assistant you can manage uh making updates to websites posting content proofreading and um, you need a bit of a wordpress skill to do that as well but the virtual assistant can do all these things then another heavy aspect of virtual assistant is social media management is the duty of virtual assistant to create attractive social media content to engage the audience using social media management tool to schedule web copies on social platform staying on top of a trend and using relevant hashtag to promote web copies posting on social media answering questions and ensuring that a brand looks good online let's go to um Facebook and see what you can do there as a virtual assistant. On Facebook, let me open my Facebook account. Yeah. So this is Facebook. And let me go to my pages so let's see our school here so as a virtual assistant you need um, someone that will help us to manage this our account this our account I hardly have time to be here, but this should be where that should be driving. Like all these our our success stories in our school, I have not created any one of them here. But all the success stories should be there here. So, virtual assistant should be helping us doing all these things, creating attractive and engaging content that can drive our business you know so so this is what you do and a lot of people um this is our email so these people see people have been People do ask questions all the time. So, and there are some of um, some students in um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a project management and business and some of them volunteered to be helping us to be answering all these queries and this is what they what they are doing is job of virtual assistant so some of all these queries you are seeing here there are some of our students that are doing all these things not me you know but i monitor what they do they are virtual assistants they are just helping out they are learning as well so one of them is this lady. I mean, not Yusuf. She's helping a lot and um, trying to, but she's learning. So, 
as a virtual assessor, this in Facebook, this the person, anybody that's going to be a virtual assistant, I'll add the person here. The person can actually be doing a lot of job for us here. And um, looking at the, our activities here. So see our activities here. What is going on is the duty of the virtual to be managing all these things, seeing how our performance is going. And yeah. So these are jobs you can do as a virtual asset, managing social media accounts. So So we have, uh, like this is um, Catroid. There's not much going on here, but a virtual assistant should be able to work here, creating all this, um, this all these uh, pools, use it for um, advertisement and attracting customers to what we are doing. Can be creating advertisements and a lot of them. So this is where you can actually come in. So it's and it's not difficult. It's just like um, a one day tutorial, and I'll put put you through on what you can do. And this is what you can do to, to companies, organizations will be making money, <coughs> managing their social media account. You can be managing this one. You can be managing YouTube. You know, our YouTube needs to be organized. So for instance, let me, if you go to YouTube now, um, some of our videos in YouTube, like, um, let me see, account here, my channel. So this is all our, all these activities in YouTube. If somebody will manage these videos. Um, from here, you can manage these videos from here. You know, you can manage comments from here. There's a lot of people commenting from here and arrange these contents. Create, um, if you have a lot of videos here, we can decide to arrange them to look good, sort them out, and even use these videos to make money. But all these things, well, I don't have time for all these things. You can use all this video, create them, and turn them into money making within YouTube. You know, so these are where virtual assistant can be working and promoting companies' activities. Just to give you a bit of um, induction on what they are doing. If you have this knowledge already, you know what you are doing, then you can do all these things. Do a bit of small course in um, social media management. One day is enough for you to get a graph of all these things you are going to be doing, and that's it. It's not difficult. So, and, there is a lot, for us to do, but we are not going to achieve everything in um, one day. This is just um, learning about the roles we can do. We are not going to finish everything today. So the next thing is social media marketing. As a virtual assistant, can specialize in the marketing that happens on the social media, create campaign, 
set spending and define ad targets, pick ad campaign reports and details. These are very simple. I've taken you to our social media account, both Facebook and YouTube, where you can be managing, creating an ad for us, taking statistics. These are very simple activities. It will not take you 30 minutes to put you through to do all these things. You just have to be coming there to be doing it every day, monitoring it, managing it, pushing it. And simple. You will relax from the comfort of your soul and be doing that. So this is going to bring us to, to this um, workshop. As you know that this is going to be a one month training because there's a lot here we are going to cover both tools, both skills, and a lot of things here to cover. So there's a lot. We are just beginning. We will soon get deeper when we need to learn how to use some tools. Yeah. So, but so far, so good. We've started and um, it's good. So I want questions. Uh, if you if you have any kind of um, confusion in your head, something confusing you, you don't understand. This is time for questions, and then I will take your question from there. Onyechi, are you there? I'm here, sir. Okay, you're following what we are doing, so you don't have any yeah. question. I have a question. So why, why are you, are you waiting for me to call no, before you can? No, no, I was about to meet him myself when I heard my name. Okay. Yes. So I have my question is that, uh, let me, we can now say that the virtual assistant is, is a compendium of all things. And as you mean, somebody is trying to uh, apply as a virtual assistant, um, that means there's no need of saying, I'm a virtual assistant, I'm a customer care manager, I am a social media, just maybe, would you say that just mentioning the virtual assistants have covered all of other things? That's what I'm saying, that so many of you do not understand what you guys are into that you think that virtual assistant is a managing email and is not. Okay. That's why you, you, when we are in um, um, Upwork, you see virtual assistant within an estate management firm. Yes. If you go there, they will tell you what to do. The only thing is that what you are going to be doing, you are going to be working remotely. All your activities is going to be virtually. It's not going to be office based. You're going to be working online, doing your job. And you are going to be assisting them, doing all sorts of administrative work. Virtual assistant, just like some of you are seeing, is not just a PA work. I can see. You know, a virtual assistant is equally a customer support. Do you understand? So a virtual assistant is equally a data entry. As a virtual assistant, you can work in a, in an e-commerce um, organization, helping them uh, manage customers, complain, and these are the things you do as a virtual assistant. So it's a big job. Yes, sir. So, so if you know it very well, you, you are very okay. It, it can be a very good beginning for you, uh, a very good stepping stone into your IT career. Okay. So, is your 
essa. Aí o fulano aí, nossa. Essa. Ok. So you, you, you think you can do this job? And I don't speak now. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to call people like um, uh, Emmanuel Nena and uh, Juliet and uh, Mesoma because so many of you have been, some of you have become good into this, it's just that um, you guys are scared of hitting the market. So do you guys have any question? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, the the next class is going to be on Monday. I will fix it, and if possible, we can rush this class as I'll try to push it as much as more I can so that we have I will have our freedom to be doing other things and maybe concentrate if we can do it within uh, for me I know if I can push but I don't want to overstuff you people with uh, I know some of you are just uh, baby in the industry so Somebody like yeah, you see, I know this um, her first IT experience or tutorial, so I don't want to overstuff you guys. But we can push this, and we get started with our with our work placement, so that you can start doing something, get your hands dirty, and um, yes, and get going so you've seen um, there's a lot of places where you can do your your work experience it's just for you to know get to know how these things work and you start applying and you start i want i want you people to start making this money because i know a lot of people that are making this money you know and they are living big big life now so I want I want to see my own people. I want to see you guys breaking into this industry. Then when you oh, you feel comfortable, once you are, so you can take your time to 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 structure yourself and then proceed to to project management and business analysis where you can work more of uh, as a as a high level professional in IT. So thank you all for taking your time to join tonight's class. Well, sir, um, I, don't think, sir, I don't think the way you're going, you are, you are, you are fast. Uh, the pace is okay. Even if you want to push it, for me, I don't know, I'm not speaking for any other person, but for me, I think yeah, it's okay. Okay. So you want me to, if you think if I can be fast, you can take it. It, 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 is, like you, you, it is not something you are bombarding us with in the theory class. I love it. It's not something like, like most times, I find that, that most people you can be doing is more of theory. You can just on your, your, your laptop or your phone and be doing all that. It's why listening. But here, there is a full-time concentration and then it is just packed with practical things. I am seeing what it is like going from the front end to the back end. So it's, it's not what is more practical. So I know, I know, I know, yeah. <laughs> um, the one thing is that I like uh, most of my courses. So uh, I like my, I don't like this so much uh, theory. I like practical application because with my experience, what the industry wants is practical. Can you do it? Do it. Show them you can do it. Don't come and start um, teaching them 
um, they want to, they don't want somebody to come and teach them theory. They want somebody to help them solve their problems. They are not looking for a teacher. So, no worries. Um, we'll see how we'll do it and um, how I can push it so that you people will start. But I can see that Onyechi want to start making this money. <laughs> that... <laughs> To make this dollar, not that dollar is 650. Oh, you don't even calculate the exchange rate. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, then we'll see how next week we go. We'll maybe we'll be, I'll be a bit faster so we can cover everything we need to cover, and then we do, we'll move to other things. I'm going to fast track. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'm sorry, sir. I was saying faster. Like, I think the pace is okay. Or there is no point rushing. Besides, it's a one month program. And then every other person here also has every other activity they're engaging in. So that we also have time for that. Since I think the pace is okay. Okay. No problem. Okay, I'll take my time. I'll. I'll, I'll continue with my pace. Exactly. And see how we can do it. Because there is some practical aspect of it. We might not treat it, but let me just give you people some instances here of some things like assignments. There's assignments here. Don't think that it's just a blah, 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 blah. You no, know, you need to get some some things you need to do here, like um, in this area, when we come to the, um, when we come to this area, it's very important, tools. So like here, this time doctor, you people will have to sign into this application and create this time doctor and use it. So these are some of the things. So it's not going to be just um, only talking and talking. So this particular one, you already know how to use Zoom. <clears throat> you need to um signing need to create an account in slack we might be going to create an account in slack where we'll be collaborating in slack it's going to be another one so this is how slack so i'm just trying to show that there are some areas we are going to be doing some some practical works so which you need to like this uh, Google Workspace, uh, this uh, travel and expense management concur, some of all these things. Then Canva, we need to do some work here when it comes here. We need to do some graphic works. Uh, Invoicely, uh, lead generation like uh, hunter.io, uh, data security, last pass, all these things. You need to have a practical knowledge of this thing. And it's not going to take us, it's not going to be just a quack, quack, quack. So uh, let's continue um, next week um, within this space. By the time we are done with this, you are going to be hammering jobs. Just um, the only thing when you start making this money, you remember me. Definitely. Amen. Yes, <laughs> okay. I wish you a good night rest. I will. I will um, create a channel. Um. All of you already know how to use um, uh, our application, um, um, techno.com. Um, 
So these uh, videos, we'll process it and we're going to be uploading them within our within our, our, our platform so that you can go there and watch them again and again and again. So all of you got account there. The only person that has not used it before is um, Isioma. But um, make, I'll make time to put her through. But if I don't make time, I will assign her to Mesoma to put her through on how to use uh, our, our system. Or I will share a video on how she can log in there and use it. Anybody who can use Facebook, all this application, I know all of you, some of you are in both TikTok, everything. So if you can use all those things, all the, our application, you should be able to use it very well. So uh, the video will be out very soon so that you can always go back there to watch the video anytime you want. So good night, everyone, once more. Right. Good night, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir.